Okay, in this video we're going to disentangle some, um, some terms you've probably been hearing quite a bit over the last few years. Um, specifically, we're going to talk about hubs, switches, and routers. So we'll go to a new um, page here. And let's draw a device that is facilitating communication amongst several computers. And let's start by calling this device a hub. Now, based on the, on the configuration of the diagram, for, say, computer A to talk to computer C, the path it would take goes through the hub. Now, the, pro the, the interesting part about hubs is that if A is trying to send a packet destined for C, that packet does in fact get sent along the link that connects the hub to C, but it also gets sent along any other outgoing links as well. In this sense, we can think of a hub just as, I mean, it's a pretty dumb device. It just rebroadcasts any packets it receives back out along all links uh, that are connected to it, which is fine, it, it, especially in small um, applications with only a few machines. Uh, we, you know, we see that. All we've got, you know, we don't have to worry about uh, utilization of all that bandwidth because there's probably not a lot of, uh, of things going on. That said, you don't tend to see hubs much of these days um, just because switches have become, become a lot more cheaper. So let's talk about what a switch would be. I'm going to recreate my little diagram here. This time with a switch. Now, with a switch, if I'm sending a packet from A destined to C, the switch has enough um, intelligence built into it that it can properly um, send that packet only along the link to which uh, C is connected. What this does is it leaves other links available to, to do some transfer. So in theory, uh, if, 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 while A is sending to C, B could also send to D. Let's do that in a different color. At the same time, because those links are not, not in use. Whereas with our hub, while A is sending to C, all the links are in use, and B and D will have to wait if they want to transmit to each other or to someone else. Now with a switch, we have links that are open, and we can have a little more complexity, a little more flexibility in terms of how we use our links. Um, and we, overall, we have more, more uh, bandwidth available for sending data from one place to another. That's the fundamental difference between a hub and a switch. Um, a hub just rebroadcasts all packets it receives out along the links to which it's attached. And a switch has some intelligence built in that it can, uh, I've been refraining from using the word route, but um, it can route packets accordingly uh, based on the destination. So let's step up one, one more piece here. Again, I'm going to redraw my little system. make this a switch and incorporate it into the same box 
I'm going to put a device called a gateway. What a gateway does is it allows us to talk to other networks, like, for example, the Internet. Quite literally, what a gateway does is it is, a, is an interface between two networks, two different networks that have uh, different um, subnet prefixes on them uh, and so forth. When we put these two things together, a gateway and a switch, we call this a router. So now not only can um, A talk to a, another machine on its same local network, it can now also talk by the gateway to other machines that are out on the internet. Say if there was a, a machine X out here. Similarly, you can use gateways to, to connect to local networks if you wanted to. Um, if, they, if you had some, some wildly differing networks, say, within your organization. Um, but usually, I mean, this, this is the setup we have in your typical home broadband router. Um, it is a switch um, with an, an integrated gateway so that it can talk to, uh, in this case, your ISP's uh, larger network. So these are the differences uh, between hub switches and routers. It's also a brief introduction to what a gateway will do. And you'll see more of that in your reading. As always, uh, just uh, come see me if you have questions, and uh, I'll get to those as soon as I can. Thanks.